All right, guys, so I wanted to show you a play from the uh, Broncos last season. It's against the Bengals, and it's just a zone run. It's the base run concept, a run blocking scheme, typical of Rick Dennison's offense. Uh, obviously, he learned that um, back in Denver um, with, you know, the Kubiaks, the Shanahans, um, and even Alex Gibbs back to the to late 90s uh, when they ran it in Denver with uh, John Elway. So... I wanted to show you a play here. It's this run blocking scheme is one that I'm familiar with um, because I taught it uh, at the college level, at the high school level, and played in a similar system in college. Um, so right here, just for my playbook, this would be Queen right. Uh, Queen just alerts this H back or fullback that he is opposite the strength, the tight end here. So 21 personnel. Uh, you can see there's eight in the box, and uh, usually eight in the box is going to be a, a tough box to run against but just a zone run play to the right so let's focus on the line first everything is uh, is what we call like a track track blocking everyone's going to the same side you see everyone's technique looks exactly uh, the same slow it down for you for a second when everyone fires out look everyone's footwork is the same you should all mirror each other alright so they're all zone blocking to their right and the running back is taught on inside zone to attack this three technique defensive tackle. So usually this defensive tackle, how well he uh, penetrates or congests the point of attack, that'll make this running back either bounce it, bang it, or bend it back. And you'll see he, he bangs it this time, hits up inside. So again, what this... Uh, is aiming to do is just give a running back lane. It's going to use angles and the athleticism of the offensive line to gain, um, you know, gaps for the running back and let him pick and choose, which is really good for LaShawn McCoy. We run a lot of, you know, zone run schemes last year and uh, we're quite successful. This right guard is the key to this whole play. He has to reach block this three technique, which means he needs to get to the front side of this guy and get those hips around. All right, he obviously doesn't. I believe this is Geno Atkins does a really good job of forcing that that run back inside, which is what he's taught to do because this is his gap. So Anderson, the running back, reads it. Too much penetration to, to bounce it and stay front side. So he gets up inside. There's a good cut block right here uh, by uh, you know the backside guard. Gets that uh, defender down on the ground. And this center climbs to the second level. So... Zone run schemes, typically what you want to do at the point of attack is have a double team. All right, they blocked it a little differently here. Um, they all zone block to the right, and the right tackle actually goes and takes a DN because it's eight-man box. So not much time to go um, to double the combo blocks here. So left guard cuts the backside D tackle. Center climbs to the second level and picks up the linebacker. Gives a nice little alleyway for uh, Anderson here. So these, this is one of the plays inside zone. It's going to be very common. You're going to see it a lot. You've probably seen it a lot. I've done videos on it before. Uh, it's definitely something that's going to, you know, be in our playbook this year. And, uh, you know, this scheme is very uh, opportunistic. Uh, it, it can adapt to any type of quarterback, any type of running back. You don't have to have premier talent at those positions, honestly. And if you look at some of the history um, of this scheme, you can you can uh, find you know more more guys that don't have premier talent that are still successful in this scheme.